हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक हाउ यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर फिट एंड फाइन एंड सेफ एट योर होम सो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू रीड अबाउट आवर वेरी नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ जियोग्राफी एंड द वेरी फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ जियोग्राफी दैट इज आवर एनवायरमेंट सो आवर एनवायरमेंट एनवायरमेंट वर्ड से आपके माइंड में क्या पिक्चर आ जाती है येस एग्जैक्टली our surroundings so what is our environment our surrounding whatever exist in around us is called environment you know human being and our living organisms live on this earth and in our complete solar system only earth is the only planet where life exist what is the reason land water and air together with all the living organism like plants and animals make up our environment so today we are going to read about our environment so as i have already explained to you everything that we see in our surroundings forms environment it is our basic life support system it provides us air water food and land these what are or are these thing these are basic needs right so these are our basic need for our life so environment is having mainly two components one is natural environment another is human made environments so natural environment is already exist in the nature it is a kind of gift to us by nature like land water plants and animals what are these these are natural environments and another is human environment human environment is which is made by human to improve his lifestyle to improve the occupation to improve the comfortable zone to develop themselves so that is human made environments so first we'll talk about the natural environments so natural environment is having mainly four realms but if we we'll talk about the natural environment has also two components one is abiotic component another is biotic component in abiotic components environment is having non living things like water air rocks it is abiotic component of a natural environment but if we we'll talk about the biotic components it is consist of plants and animals which are living beings so these are natural environments and apart from these abiotic and biotic components natural environments have four realms those realms are the lithosphere the lithosphere hydrosphere the atmosphere and the biosphere first we'll talk about the lithosphere what is lithosphere the outermost solid layer of the earth consisting of soil and rock material is called lithosphere it includes not only the land surface but also the ocean floor the term lithosphere means rocky crust you know the average thickness of the lithosphere is about 100 km it has been found that thickness of the earth crust is greater where the continents exist it is all about 32 km but as compared to the ocean floors ocean floor are having 8 km so the lithosphere is made up of various types of rock and minerals which you will learn in the next chapter of geography it has mountains plateaus plains valley river and oceans lithosphere provides land for building houses roads factories and also for agriculture so the lithosphere is very important for us so next realm of the natural environment is the hydrosphere so lithosphere all about the land surfaces and the hydrosphere is all about the water bodies covered earth surface so hydrosphere is that part of the earth surface which is covered by the water you know you already know that about 71% of the earth surface is 
covered with the water. Hence, it is also regarded as a watery planet. All the water bodies such as ocean, seas, lake, river, bays, ice caps, glaciers, groundwater and fresh water together make up the hydrosphere. So, in shortcut, you can say that all the water body exists in the earth's surface is called hydrosphere. The next realm of the natural environment is the atmosphere. Students, what is atmosphere? Yes, the blanket of air that envelops the earth is called the atmosphere. Its exact thickness is unknown. But we consider it is up to 1600 km from the surface of the earth. And you know the gravitational force of the earth holds the atmosphere around it. And what is exactly atmosphere is? It is a mix up of gases such as nitrogen, oxygen and the carbon dioxide organs and water vapor dust and other smoke particles. So the percentage of those gases is 78% of nitrogen, 21% of oxygen and rest that is including the carbon dioxide, water vapor, dust or smoke particles that is in 1%. So atmosphere provides us what kind of facilities? Atmospheres protect us from the sun rays the sun's harmful rays from reaching to the earth's surface. It controls temperature during day and night. It also controls pressure, humidity and sunshine. So therefore, changes in the atmosphere produce changes in the weather and climate. And without atmosphere, our world would have been barren like other planets. So it is the, it is the third realm of the natural environment which one is the fourth one the biosphere fourth realm of the natural environment is biosphere what is biosphere the narrow zone of the earth where land lithosphere water hydrosphere and air atmosphere interact with each other to support life is called biosphere as we all know without hydrosphere without lithosphere without atmosphere Life cannot exist in the earth. So all these may make biosphere to support life. It is this biosphere which makes the earth a unique planet in the solar system. And you know the word biosphere comes from the Greek word bios that means life and the Latin word sphera that means total range. So living beings range from microscopic organism to huge trees, animal, human beings, this great variety of life on the earth is called biological diversity or you can call it biodiversity. So it is all about the natural environment where the two components we read about the two components biotic and abiotic which is living and non-living and apart from this four realms of the natural environment that is lithosphere right hydrosphere atmosphere and biosphere now we will talk about the ecosystem what is the ecosystem living things like plants and animals inhabit many different environment from the poles to the equator life can be found you know underground also in air in water and on land also so each ecosystem is formed by the interaction of all living organisms with each other and with the physical environment in which they live. So they support each other. So this is they are making a particular system. It can be you know as large in rainforest, grassland, desert, lakes, rivers or it can be as small as a pond. So this is called ecosystem. So next topic is human environment. What is human environment? As I've in the starting of the chapter, I explain you the environment which is made by human. It's called human made environment. It is formed by the human beings and their creation such as roads, bridges, etc. And social, economic, political and other condition in which they live. So human environment is greatly influenced by the natural environment. 
this is influences decides the lifestyle occupation dress food habit and nature of the habitat of human beings so we all know that without the natural environment we cannot make human environment can we make furniture buildings without the support of natural environment without the support of natural things no na yes so we can make a human environment with the help of natural environment only now we'll talk about the human environment interaction what is the human environment interaction that explains how man affects the environment and gets affected by it how it is you know the physical environment provides human beings with different material needs activities like farming fishing forestry and mining still require raw material without which no society can survive or progress so human being and their activities also represent the greatest danger to the environment see i if we we'll use everything in excess or miss you will misuse it it will be harmful for all of us so since starting of the human civilization people have only used nature for their existence but slowly and gradually what happened they exploited and misuse it to certain extent thus the balance of environment has disturbed when the disturbance made by the human beings in the environment were less nature could easily repair it but now forests are being cut down at the faster rate so industrial development is polluting our environment it is a result of unwise use of technology so we should protect our environment so now a perfect balance between the natural and human environment is need of the art we should understand that human race cannot survive if we do not live in harmony with nature and if the balance in nature is not maintained so students this is all about the chapter thank you so much